as our folks said, when you're born in the world, you got everything you're going to ever have. All you have to do is work with it. You're straight. You don't get no more arms, no more legs, and ain't none other set of brains. <laughs> you're going to have to go from there. time around the city of New Orleans, the Christmas city. So I got to go through about a good food here. I can't hardly walk through the kitchen without stopping. I want to eat. <laughs> well, we go out through here. Going out here by the got sun here. Okay, princess, princess. And I like the fish too. Bye. Stay nice every day, try to fish. Yeah, nice feels feels nice and pleasant. Mm -hmm. with Burry got this. Try to get my boy to get together and sing a song today. He said, hold oh, no, on, he was scared. I said, I want you to sing, I'm a nut while I play it. Oh, no, no, I can't. I, I'm scared, he's scared to sing. Well, that's the way I was when I was coming up there. When they told me about making records, yeah, I said, make a record. I said, oh, man, I said, I can't play good enough to make a record. So he says, oh, well, he says, is that one of the things you know that's all you believe in? I said, oh, yeah. I said, oh, I got a lot of more songs. So he made me feel a little mad. He, he said, you mean you got a lot of words? You ain't none of them no songs. <laughs> I said, well, I got a lot of old words. <laughs> he said, well, I'll tell you what you do. You, um, this must have been about Friday. He said, you come over here, I'll be over here Monday morning early, and we're going to catch the 9 o'clock Pennsylvania, that America, not here in New York. Boy, I, I was like, they shouted. I said, what? New York? Man, I got the feeling good, you know. So that's how I got started, 1929, from a guy named Jesse Johnson who owns a music store and a fleet of cabs, whatever. You know, he was about rich. Rich, good, good, yes, man. Could you, could you, yes, ma'am. Honey, women keep me in a jam. They want to make love and rain and shine. Keeps me high in a Georgia pine. They want to make love and rain and shine. And keeps me high in a Georgia pine. In my rest, I'm way behind. <laughs> Still, they want to make me total line. Coochie, coochie, oh, I am a 
love me, then yes I am. Juice one day on on that uh, corn whiskey. I was young. I went. I looked upstairs on just on Marcus and I see the sign said lawyer somebody. Else. I'm going up there. I went up there. I told the lawyer. I said look at you. I said I got a song. I told him this how everything was. Showed him my contract. He said well that guy there just taking all your money. Let's get the law for a man to do that to a man who don't understand. And he uh, wrote me a little note to take down that Jesse. This John Luster was right down under this building on the first floor. And I showed Jesse Johnson this look. Because I, oh, oh, Rover, no, we don't start nothing in there. Uh, we can talk with him. His wife named Edith. I said, man, I said, you done, t- I don't know how much money you done took from me. So I tell you what, Edith, you, right here, give him $100 so he be I said, no, you better talk to my lawyer upstairs there. Oh, what is that? So easy. Said, Will you be satisfied if I give you five hundred dollars? I said, talk to the lawyer, man. I don't know whether you. I may be mistreating you, taking too much. I said. <laughs> I said I don't. I, I don't want to overdo you, and I don't want to undo you. I said. So finally, he come upstairs with me, and, and, and the man said, "You." I said, give him five hundred dollars, and says, "And uh, they're rafter pay him his money." And I played the blues forty-two years ago. Dusty road, it was a low thing. They figured they was taught it was a low thing. You know, you know I heard. Was going on with his shoe sole slapping, and the guitar swung walking across his back. In other words, and no place to go. And it's bum like. They figured it's thought it was a blues player. And they thought it was a back slapping thing of a slavery. You know, they, they put it down low. And then, in other words, the blues is the truth. People uh, uh, duck them on that account. If they, and the next thing about them, they couldn't understand them, they couldn't capture them, then they wanted to duck them. <laughs> Anything man can't handle to do nothing with it, then he says, no good. <laughs> but as soon as he gets to handle it, he says, fine. So they, they, it's hard to help them to understand the blues, but as time went along, they began to see blues were the truth with things that they used to call them before the blues is a late name. They call them reels. Real, you know, the, the real thing. Real, they said, that's, that's real. And they, and they taught the, all the young black people, see, opera is fine. Classics, all that fine, but you sing the blues, you go to hell. <laughs> So then, it was, that's all he could play, see? He wasn't used to that, so that automatically would stop him from playing anything or else he'd go to hell.
a place in there where oh, they'd everybody be dancing and drinking. And there I'd sit down and play, they'd having a good time. And dancing over my music and everything. Here come another guy in a good piano place. Get up in there. Get him up in there. Here's Willie. Come on, Willie. Now, I, now I'm feeling shame. I done played for him. <laughs> I done sit there and beat my brains out. Get him up. Get him up. Uh, I had to get up and let Willie play. <laughs> Willie, Willie hit me. Wow! They done holler. Flat, Willie. Then I go and sit over in the corner. <laughs> and soon Willie leave. Willie, I got to go and win it. Come see. Yeah, come on. Come on, Rovell. Come on, you play nothing. I said, I ain't telling you. Come on, come on, Roy, play that now. I said, oh, man, I ain't. But I'd be so glad. I said, I'll play one. <laughs> I'm so glad to get back up there. I'll be back up there. Here come one of them. Madison, here's old Madison. Come on, get up now, Roy. Matt, come on, Madison, play this one. <laughs> I had all that to, to get see with. I always feel good piano players coming. I watch that do. If he, I knew I was gonna have to get up. <laughs> so I had all that to go through with. And, and being a musician, you have a lot of things, uh, embarrassing things, times, you know. But I wouldn't give it up. <laughs> You don't read the Bible to, to do nothing but the rules and regulations of what man's supposed to live by. It teaches the things to do. He, he even specified one spot for you, the Tenth Commandment. So he, you can take it and leave it. Well, law, he, he gave Moses a law that you would know even the law. And, and each country actually today is based upon the Laws of Moses. That's that's in your constitution of all countries. Did you ever play gospel in church? Did you ever sing? No, no, no. That, it's not necessary. I'm working. I have a talent to play the blues and the jazz. Wasn't it? I do. That's that's what I do. What I have a talent to do. That's what I feel like doing. And that's how I feel. With this, don't have anything to do with the Bible. Only making a sweating from my own eyebrows. And I do sweat. It didn't say for a man to make a brick. It didn't say for a man to uh, make an instrument. It didn't say for a man to uh, mold to make an airplane. But he, he knew he gave me five senses to stretch his knowledge to these things. But all he wants him to do is not harm another man and tell the truth. Well, the, well all that is in the Tenth Commandment. And uh, don't harm a man. Don't do anything about that that you wouldn't like to be done to you. Suppose don't in love God himself as he is your maker. He made you out of things he created. He didn't create you. He, he made you from his creation. Because.
God, he created the earth. Mm hmm? Yeah, I'm loose. I got mine loose now. So you, I'm not a preacher, not as I've known of, unless I'm a preacher and I haven't got any knowledge of it yet. But the Bible is wisdom and knowledge. You try reading it, you'll find out. You, you get a different viewpoint on everything. So I read it all over from the Genesis to the Revelations. That's from the front to the back. Now I'm going all over it again. I'm on my way back again. But every time I go across something, I, I, I find something that I didn't know that was there, and I had already read it. It's too much to hold in your head. Because we don't know how we know it could be nine or ten million years ago that it's been, and it, and it could be going on nine and ten million more. And it's hard for one human being to hold that much in his head. There was a stranger just come to town. He got hold to a good woman, started dogging her around. The man was crazy. He didn't understand that a woman is in demand. He tried to hold her on his thumb. She's beautiful, but he's so dumb. The man is crazy. He don't understand that a woman is in demand. She took him in her home, off everything she had. He acted like. Somebody going mad, the man is crazy. He don't understand that a woman is in demand. He said, now you get up now and pack. I'm just trying to learn how to play the guitar. He said, I found in fact, the reason why I don't even try to play it out in public. Crazy. Because it tell me the first the impression is a lasting is one. <laughs> I might roll on a while. Oh yeah. Oh wrong hole right there. My, my. Now you sit up and grin like he don't understand. She ain't got a friend that he don't try to be her man. The man is crazy. He don't understand that a woman is... We read about him in the paper. He was playing at the club down the street, and I was working at a supermarket. And he come in to buy some groceries, and that's how we met. <laughs> yeah, I think he must have had his eye on me. I don't know. He owned someone, but he bought so much groceries, I thought he was already set. No, wasn't nobody but me, but I see she's down there working. I'd go down there and buy a 24-pound sack of flour <laughs> <laughs> for one guy. You <laughs> say, what are you going to do with so much good? I just buy it. I ain't getting it. Just be around there. Someone I really could care for. But... And then there suddenly appeared before me the only one my arms could ever hold. You know, someone whispered, please, please. Please adore me. Now you know when I look, the moon head turned to a goal. I said, I'm no longer alone with 
as I had a dream in my heart. Without a love of my own, my, my. I feel way back like I'm a boy or something. I just feel, I mean, everything looks... It ain't like I feel, you know, up to date around it. When you go to this thing, it looks like it's way back. And uh, I went in the building there, that uh, cathedral in London. Yeah, uh, I think it's, oh, I forget the name of that cathedral. But where they got uh, the floors is uh, all made with the tombs and then dead people with the names on top of it, just like this concrete here, the names right across there, uh, like Daniel Webster, uh, somebody way back in there, you know, Christopher Columbus, all them different people there, you sit right over, you, all the seats in the chapel and the churches, sitting over these different people. You don't have to get a seat sitting right over Zachariah. <laughs> uh, anybody, oh, it's, it's, it's really nice, you know. Give my baby money all the time. Had a hundred dollars, give her ninety-nine. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Funky nut. Been calling right. Called my baby on the telephone. She said, Why don't you leave me alone? I'm a nut. Okay. I'm a nut. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, funky nut, been calling right. Granddaddy was a preacher, and he had an organ. Me, I, on that organ, I'd play, you know, I could see up the road a little piece, you know, my granddaddy walked away, I'd jump on that organ, I'd just wheel. And when I look up and see him coming, if, if, if he had not easy in him, or was I so busy and on the organ, he'd eat him, get up off that organ, boy, get away from that. Stop that noise. He said that I'm so dumb. Walking down the street, sucking my thumb, I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, funky nut, been calling right. I did something, I ain't gonna do no more. Had five dollars, give my baby four, I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Yes, indeed. That's Dury Sykes Bell. Yes, indeed. That's uh, my grandson. So one of these days we're going to really get him into it. Yes, indeed. Man is here for the glory of God. See, God, he gets such a thrill out of seeing his own image move around on earth and be a good fellow. That's the reason. See, but man don't know that this, and now he put woman here for man. Now that's what's for man. So he could be nice and happy. Have a help me. But he's here for God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And the woman's here for him. Thank you. 
I made a mark in life. You know, you as you go, you must do something while it's being here. You got to leave something behind because ain't nobody gonna stay here forever, but I will be the made a mark. A little history. You got to makes me feel good that uh, other artists likes my style and work and do it and then be a success on it. Such as Memphis Slim and a lot of other than Rachel, a lot of them do my stuff. Count Basie, Joe Williams, they all do my, some of my stuff. And he went back to, uh, made a tune, 47th Street Jive, got him Andy Kirk, as he had a great band. They starred on one of my tunes, 47th Street Jive. So, uh, and I wrote the, wrote the music to Going Down Slow, which is a, uh, a uh, what they call, masterpiece of the blues going down slow. St. Louis Jimmy wrote the words, but I wrote the music. If I don't get well no more I have had my fun If I don't get well no more is failing me and I'm going down slow I want you to write my mother and tell her the shape I'm in please write my mother Just tell her the shape I'm in. Tell her, I said, pray for me. Forgiveness of my sin. Tell her, I said, don't send no doctor. Listen. So music is just a talent. That's my job. Yes, and my God didn't tell a man to be a brick mason. He didn't tell him to build a building, line blueprint. But all that takes to make the earth further give every everybody can't do the same thing. As a man to make this fishing pole for me, maybe he don't even fish. But there's somebody likes to fish, even me. So he'll make a living on that. And they're sweating from his eyeballs. As a guy that built a church. He's a contractor. He may be a gambler. Oh, oh, oh look like I got one. Uh-oh. Look, 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 look. I got something here. Can you hold, hold him there? Hold him, Joe. Let's see, I got him. I got something. Yeah, got one, <laughs> you see him? Can you get him there? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a croaker. Everybody knows. Roosevelt spoke that thing. 